Hello everybody, my name is Cube 6 and today we are going to be taking a look at, uh, well, I don't really know what to call this because this contraption, it really doesn't have a name. It's, uh, it's one of those contraptions that's kind of difficult to put a name to, uh, but if you guys do have any really creative names, then go ahead and put those down in the comments below. Oh no, well I just, <laughs> the, the comment section is going to be a nightmare. Uh, so yeah, just go ahead, run loose in the comment section, please put your most creative name down in the comments for this uh, contraption. So this is the design that I'm going to be showcasing in today's video. It's a super cool door design using the redstone and redstone dot technique, sort of. I don't know if you can really call it a technique. But yeah, before I'm going to be showcasing this, I want to showcase what this piece of redstone dust is doing down here. So as you can see, this is a redstone dot. And uh, if you guys did not know, if you right click the piece of redstone, then it turns into the opposite one. So this is a dot, then it's going to turn into a cross. And then if you right click the cross, it turns into a dot. It's a new 1.16 feature, as you can see. Look at that. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, but we can actually use this to our advantage because when there is when it's in dot form It's actually not powering this repeater. That's on the other side of this block If we go ahead and right click it though It turns into a cross as you can see it just gave an update and now it's sending its redstone current through this block and into this repeater Which gave an output so I thought that this was completely useless other than just decoration purposes but it actually turns out to be a really cool way of powering a redstone door or anything like that so yeah now we can go ahead and take a look at the door design pretty much this is literally taking that concept and converting it into a door so pretty much if as you can see if I right click the piece of redstone the door will open allowing me to walk through I can right click it again it will close and same thing on the other side I can right click it walk through, right click it again, and it will close. So it's just another super cool way of uh, making an input. It's sort of concealed too, because no one really would think to toggle the uh, redstone dust on the floor, but if you have a button, then obviously someone is going to click the button. So it's kind of uh, just uh, something like that. So yeah, let's just go ahead and take a look at the redstone for this design. All right, here is the redstone for this design. As you can see, it's very, very small and very, very compact, only fitting in around about five by three by two, uh, making an area of around uh, 30 blocks. So yeah, this contraption is very, very small, as you can see. Um, and yeah, it's super compact, super easy to build, and that's why I'm kind of showcasing this design instead of uh, this one way over there. And speaking about that one way over there, this is the 3x3 version, and uh, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, I'm not going to be showcasing this design in today's tutorial but I am showing casing this design in a future video so if you guys do want to see that video or see how to build this design go ahead and subscribe to the channel and go ahead and turn on the bell notification so you will never miss another upload especially this one if you guys do actually want to see that but yeah sorry shameless plug we're just gonna jump right back into do the uh, tutorial all right so here is the tutorial so first things first we uh, these items down here are the items that you will need to build this design. Now, as you can see, it's very, very simple. We only have two sticky pistons, three redstone repeaters, five redstone torches, and five redstone dust. Now, obviously, these blocks of iron, you don't have to have 64 blocks of iron. You just have to have a building block. These are just representing a building block. All right, to get things started, we are actually going to be placing where the opening of the door is. So... It's just going to be this little loop around here and you'll walk through here and now the part that actually moves on the door will actually be in this location here but we're gonna actually temporarily destroy this and we are actually gonna be coming adjacent from this block right here and we're gonna be placing two sticky pistons and on these sticky pistons we'll have two blocks just like this now we can go back to the front here and start doing all of the redstone. So go ahead and uh, come to this block here and destroy two blocks just like this. Place one redstone torch right here going right into a block and now place a redstone dust on this block. As you can see it's going to be getting powered and it will deliver its current through to this repeater that will be going right into a block. Now this block will have a redstone torch on it, just like this. That redstone torch will turn off, and this redstone torch will actually have a block above it. And then we'll have two more blocks 
on the side of this block that we just placed. And then we'll have three pieces of redstone dust just like this. And then last but not least, we are going to be placing a redstone torch right here. Now, I said last but not least, that's just for this side. We actually have to make the whole entire other side. So come around to the back side here and place a block right here. And we're going to kind of repeat the same steps as we did last time. So go ahead and destroy two blocks. Place a redstone torch here. Place a block right here and a piece of redstone on that block. Now this redstone current will be delivering it through this block to this repeater that will be powered on and now this repeater will be going into a block and then use your last torch to place uh, to be placed on this last block just like this that redstone torch will turn off and uh, everything will be working completely fine now so as you can see if I right click this then the door will open and if I right click this then the door will open it's very very simple how that actually works and uh so yeah it's super cool to build and hopefully you guys found this video interesting and if you did then please make sure to leave a like on this video that would be greatly appreciated and uh, if you're new to the channel then please make sure to subscribe also check out the de that design that's right behind me right over there uh that's a pretty dope design so if you guys do want to see that design like i said subscribe to the channel turn on that bell notification and you'll be notified when that video comes out because it is going to come out pretty soon so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, goodbye.